Galaxy Trail. Awesome. Okay, I wish there was a way to get rid of that little tab on the lower right. That's just me. Yeah, 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 we, we get it. Can you please go away? There we go. Big ass fucking ship blasting through. What the fuck are you even blasting? I mean, obviously Brevin comes in, but they're just like blasting a goddamn wall. Well, sucks to be you guys. Ah, uh, we're having a little bit of a lag. The walls are impenetrable. Your floor isn't. If death is what you seek, I will gladly provide it. There is no reason to be hostile, Your Majesty. In fact, you should be proud. Your son is moments away from inheritance. Oh, Diego, I haven't started a call yet. So. I tried, Father! What do you want with this? That's a little overacting right there. <laughs> yeah, the acting in this game is very subpar. Like, I enjoy Lilac's uh, acting, or the actress who was the voice of, um, um, you know. Ooh! Decapitated! Oh, yeah, no, I love the graphics and the gameplay. Um, but it did come at the cost of. Sorry, I'm getting a little distracted by the cutscenes here. That's the voice. That, yeah, no, it's hilarious. Holy shit, them graphics! Good lord! Everybody's reacting to the fucking graphics. All right, so with that out of the way, welcome everybody. Welcome to my first playthrough of Freedom Planet. This is a game that I played last year, and admittedly, I had a lot of fun with it, despite the fact that, for those who don't know what it is, it's a bit of a clone of Sonic, where you scroll around a bunch of loops and obstacles, and you take on some enemies, which is a little bit of a hack and slash right then and there. So yeah, this game was out in, I think, 2013, 14? I didn't keep track of, uh, you know, when do they say, like, copyright in this year, you know, what's at the bottom of the screen. Um, you failed your, f you failed your father, suffered a consequent, oh, fucking well. Okay, so, to show you what it is, I've already played this game a couple of times, uh, let's go ahead and start a new file here. So, um, there's two modes. There's classic where you just go through every stage, and Adventure has a story uh, added to each cutscene. And that's, even though the voice acting is a little, it has some room for improvement, it's still fun to watch. All right, let's get this shit rolling. Yeah, that's right. You have three characters. Um, she can spin around and jump in the air a couple of areas. She rides a motorcycle, and yes, that's a she. And Mila um, is an unlockable character. Uh, she's not an original character, and she, for some reason, can summon, like, weird shields and green blobs that form blocks and everything. She gets a l she's a little slow to get used to. Oh, yeah, and she can also levitate a bit. God damn, the curse are sensitive. So I'm going for Lilac. She's the funnest to play. the fuck is going on? Sorry about that. Meteor! Or oh, no, wait, it's a ship uh, crashing down. Oh, god damn it! I don't need to see that shit. That's gonna get annoying. <laughs> this is so pissy! What the fuck are you pissed off for? Three days later, in a valley to the east. Another ship is crashing. Yay! Huh? Where are you going? I have to make sure they're okay. 
Did I skip a scene? I'm pretty sure there was some. Ah, whatever. You know, that last, you know, the last two words were there, Carl, you could speak up a little louder. So yeah, you jump around. She can do a double jump. That's the other cool thing about her. She's probably like the easiest character to play through. Whereas the other characters, uh, I think they have their own ways of difficulty. Mila, you have to be very, very uh, patient with. Carl is a bit in the middle. Or Carol. I think that's how uh, her name is pronounced. God damn it, you fucking spiny wannabe. Fuck you. Do 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 do. Wee. Oh no! Oh, I missed the jump. God damn it. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but if you can, um, I really love the music in this game. It's got a nice blend of, like, 90s nostalgia with a good touch of, like, Asian culture. Because a lot of this game, you're going to see a lot of Asian culture uh, put into it. God damn it, Knight! I see you in the corner over there. I wish there was a way to turn that off. Ugh, god damn it. Here. There. Oh, I could have just gone up that ladder the whole time. You piss off. Ooh, I got invincibility. I am invincible! <laughs> okay, that's understandable. Because I did turn the volume very, very low. Like... Kind of at a noticeable level, but not enough to where it's distracting, you know? It kind of brings a little bit more life, because it otherwise just feels hollow when the game is mute. Or when any stream is mute. Whee! So this is the Sonic part. You're going through a lot of loops and uh, ops, uh, slopes and shit. You, get the fuck up there. <laughs> Shooting off like a goddamn bullet. Ah, this goddamn spider. Ow! And that's the hack and slash part. Yeah, you can do that without, you know. Yeah, there's an uppercut. There's a basic hit. That's what she has. I'm pretty sure there's other moves that I can't think of at the top of my head with the other characters. Pew! Way up in the air. Pew! Spider robot goes poof. You remind me of the culture of Japan. I think that Japan has so much culture to explore and learn from, also anime. Um, I, like, I, I don't want to get into the, too much of the details, because I don't want to sound like I'm being, you know, racist or anything like that. I, I feel a little insecure whenever I mention those kind of names. Maybe it has to do with me talking about the soundtrack, but I, like I said, I love the soundtrack. Throw this giant block here. Oh, that's right. Doop, right, you fucking idiot. Meanwhile, um, I just remembered something. I'm going to go ahead and just pull this out because, sure, why not? Ah, oh, here it is. Ah. Uh. Yes, I just cracked open a cold one. Now, where's that chat box? I got fucking shit everywhere. Well, I got windows everywhere all over my screen. Ow! I fucking hit you! This weird green crab thing? Fuck you. Yes. You, fuck off. <laughs> I'm 
Damn it, I wasn't high enough. There's a freaking ribcage spike over there. Up in the air! Ow! Is someone gonna join your stream later, or is it pure solo? Um, I don't know. Right now, I'm just playing the game. You know, getting the ball rolling. Oh, here's this asshole. Ow! Are you fucking serious? I thought I evaded that. Kiss my ass! Okay, I evaded it that time. Ah, no! Ugh. At least I got one of them. Ugh. I was barely out of reach. Oh, okay, so you turn your head around. You got bitch slapped. Or foot slapped, whatever the two. Golden, I forgot how to jump. Well, look at the controls then. Learning to jump is one of the most basic things in a fucking platformer. Oh, let's go down here. Whee! This is a fucking bug thing. Fuck off. Sorry, I, I can't stop singing to the awesome music. Ow! Shitbag, piss off! Whoa, gee, oh, really? You can suck my fucking nutsack. You, piss off. Controls are for nerds. What? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. There we go. When in doubt, you can double jump. Ugh, I guess I had to use this. God damn it. I had to jump up here. There we go. Oh, that's right. Later in this stage, uh, there's like a tumbling rock um, that kind of makes you, that gives you that Indiana Jones vibe. It's like in almost every game when you think about it. If you're in a jungle somewhere, there's going to be a tumbling rock. Oh, wait. More of these things. Yes, Lilac. Cyclone. She says that a lot. Damn it. Whoa. Jesus. Don't touch that thing. Oh, God fucking damn it. Oh, wait. I think this is... Yep, there we go. Ra -da 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 -da. Okay, you have all these little red spots. Okay, if you jump on those spots, gems appear. But what the fuck's the point on jumping on every single one of them when you're on a fucking run from a goddamn boulder? What idiot thought that was a like a clever game design, a level design? Incoming rock! All right. Boom! Got dodging skills, bitch. All right, where's that goddamn snake? Damn, got a good chunk of him. Yeah, fuck you. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, great. More boulders. God damn it. All right, he's almost done. Ow! Wheel of Steel, thank you for subscribing. Oh, I, sh I gotta find a way to pay more attention. Boom! Annihilated. 
You sound like video game nerd. What? I don't know. Stage complete. Yay. I think this is the shortest stage compared to all the other ones. Like, this is like a training ground. Other ones are so thematically based. Like... Nope, oh, cutscene. <laughs> I love that Torque is such a sarcastic asshole. You know, it's funny that you call him a duckling when you know he's a fucking alien. Well, that answers your question. No, no one's in the call. Like, I kind of opened it up. Nobody's joined so far. You're fucking one to talk, talk dipshit. Wow, did I say top? You had that missile the whole time. You could have just done that to torque the whole time. You really are a dumbass. Yeah, go fuck off, Serpentine. Whew, that was a close one. Thank you, Miss, uh... Lilac. Miss Lilac. Are you okay? We saw a huge explosion back there. Yeah, and it was directed by Michael Bay. You've been following me this whole time, haven't you? Yeah. I take it you know this guy. Girl. <laughs> Wildcat at your service.